Hello there, time for a new era in my Glossier Sunday review series. Glossier Play, a mysterious new brand name, was announced on Instagram back in February. I guessed it would be makeup, but a departure from Glossier's minimal style. More colour, more pigment, more fun. And it is. Before we meet this line of dialed up beauty extras, let's quickly touch on the vibe of the new brand. It's certainly a sassy step away from Glossier's natural, understated origins. Some people have been a bit disappointed. I've seen arguments that the new style defeats the purpose of Glossier or just caters to YouTube or Instagram glam. But minimal makeup and having fun with colour can go together. You can go foundation free like me and still love a bold lip or enjoy a natural look overall while adding some glitter or shimmer. The two approaches aren't mutually exclusive, particularly if you use playful products in moderation. It's exactly what I do on a night out. The same minimal fresh face, but I have fun with a lip or eye look. So Glossier Play is about enjoying the process of getting ready and having fun with your makeup, which is really the message I'm always trying to spread here too. While I've been busy unboxing these, I do want to mention the packaging. The foil-like lolly wrappers might look quite striking, but having plastic packaging inside cardboard, wasteful and unnecessary. Sustainability and recycling really ought to be more of a focus for the beauty industry, so that's a big misstep for me. But fortunately, Glossier quickly responded to criticism and have already announced they'll be phasing out these foils over the next six months. Emily Weiss has also announced there are more products to come, but these were the first four to launch, plus two tools. And a chance to take some of them home with you coming up at the end of the video. Let's play. The Colorslide Techno Gel Eye Pencils are described as highly pigmented, smooth, waterproof liners that don't crease or tug at the skin. They come in 14 shades and the color on the outside matches the liner. I've seen some really cool editorial looking gradients created by layering several of the bright shades, but naturally I was drawn to the more peach orangey, burgundy tones that fit my usual colour mood. Candyland is a metallic sherbet pink, certainly one of my favourites. I've seen Aussie makeup artist Toby Henny use this beautifully and I love to line this right under my lower lash line to make my green eyes pop. Not too glittery and very smooth. Jumbo is a matte dark ginger orange, very bold and you could really have fun with it, but I love lining this really tightly along my upper lash line so the colour is almost undetectable, but again a big boost for green eyes. These first two shades have been my most used by far. Love combined them on the top and bottom lash line. If you use a light hand it's not as crazy as it sounds. Pretty Penny is a metallic copper. It goes on smoothly and is easy to blend out. It looks quite dark until it catches the light and has more of a true copper look. Magic Carpet is a metallic jam, a vibrant purple berry, once again quite deep until the light hits it and it comes alive. Another one I've been keeping close to the lash line so you almost can't tell it's there but it brings out your eye colour. Disaster Class is a deep wine shade. I love burgundy liner, almost as dark as black but not as severe. Violette, one of my favourite makeup artists, uses plummy liners a lot. It's lovely drawn really close to the lash line, again for a hint of colour. I found these do smudge quite well with fingers for a smoky liner look, but you have to act fast. These really stay put if you let them dry down. Which is a good segue to bring in Glossier's latest launch, Milky Oil, the waterproof makeup remover that cleverly dropped just before Glossier Play did. I was interested to see how this performs and I have to say it does take off all of Glossier Play's products well. Shake it up and it melts makeup off easily, even bolder colours and glitters. Let me know how it's worked for you. There's also a sharpener called Blade that's sold separately or comes in the playground set. It does the job sharpening these up but isn't essential, judging by the size of the pencils you could probably use any liner sharpener, but I do like that it catches the shavings. Glitter Gelée is an eye glitter in a transparent gel base, their most playful product for a mirrorball disco look. Described as comfortable, wearable and feel good, they did surprisingly feel good and I'm a glitter phobe, I don't like fallout or the feel of it on the skin, so the gel base seemed to make this much more comfortable, although it does have quite an off-putting sort of chemical scent. A lot of you pointed out that this is non-biodegradable glitter. This is the first glitter product I've ever purchased, so I personally wasn't across the issue. It's obviously another disappointing choice in the sustainability department, but again, glossy saw the response and have said they plan to reformulate this in the next six months. Glitter Gelée comes in four shades. I chose Phantasm after seeing a photo of Emily Weiss wearing it. This is the most opalescent with holographic specks, really quite white and light reflective. It also has the largest chunks of glitter. Not sure why they chose to vary the size in this shade, but at least it's a bit easier to place individually. Firewalk is a coppery iridescent rose, very bouncy and spongy to touch. Much finer glitter means the coppery shade does spread more across the eyes. Realistically, with my non-glitter tendencies, I'll reach for these fairly rarely, but it's still a fun option for special occasions and I've loved seeing how creative people have been with these. The Detailer is the sidekick tool with an angled silicon tip for controlled application but it didn't give me much control at all. If anything, it seemed to push product around rather than laying it down evenly. It might help to dot on bigger bits, I guess, but I'd rather smooth the glitter on with fingertips. Interested to hear how you apply it. 
Next, Nightshine, the highlighter concentrate with refined pearl powder. Ooh. There are four shades and I chose to play with Pale Pearl, Platinum Rose and Deep Copper. This nail polish looking intense liquid highlighter has a doe foot applicator and is designed to set. So it goes from liquid to a slightly tacky, eventually dry finish. For me, not my aim with highlighter. I prefer a really dewy glow, so if you love Haloscope or other luminizers, this might not be your favourite finish. But a good call if you're into more of an obvious highlight, want to dial it up a bit, or try it on the eyes. I've mostly been experimenting with these as eyeshadow. Pale Pearl is an opalescent champagne shimmer. Platinum Rose is described as a pink rosy luster, but I was a bit disappointed. I love a good champagne rose highlight, but this just seems slightly more gold on my skin. And Deep Copper is a metallic golden ochre. Good to see some deeper highlight shades in the range. I like to pat this one on as a coppery shadow instead. Nightshine does seem to crease less on the eyes than a cream highlight would. Finally, Vinylic Lip is their High Shine Lip Lacquer. High shine's not something you usually see on my channel. I'm much more of a matte person, not a dry liquid lip matte, just a creamy, comfortable one, but these were a surprise favourite. Although, be prepared for plenty of clicking to get the product to come up. The claims of being cushiony, never sticky, and never gloopy were definitely true in my experience, and I'm picky as anything with lip shines. These glide on, distribute product evenly, and have a comfortable, balmy feel, plus a sweet apricot flavour. There are six shades, I chose a top three. Baby is their Siren Red. Easy to stop at a sheer layer or really build it up for a great bright red lip. Disco is a Terracotta, a tone I often reach for, but this reddy brown pulled a bit more orange than I expected. And Bank is a rich plum that's right off the deep end. Intense, dark, everything I love in a statement lip. One of my favourite British makeup artists and new Instagram mate Harriet from Harry Makes It Up wore this colour exactly the way I would. Glowy, fresh skin and eyes, let the lips do the talking. Overall, Glossier Play was a mixed bag of beauty extras for me. Some I'll get much more use out of than others. They may not have reinvented the wheel and made a few environmental mistakes, but I did enjoy the wide colour range of Colour Slide and the surprising wearability of Vinylic Lip. I'd love to hear what you think of Glossier Play. I'm sure there'll be wide ranging reactions. Let me know what you've tried so far, if you have your eye on anything, or if you'll give it a miss. 11 of these product picks are in a Glossier Play giveaway over on my Instagram this month at Matilda on Video, linked below. After a bit of a delivery mix up, I ended up with some duplicates and offered to send them back to Glossier, but they kindly said I didn't need to, so I wanted to share them with you. Remember to always wear makeup like this, or any makeup really, in a way that fits your style. Whether that's the tiniest dash of bright eyeliner, or drawing it all over for editorial edge, or blotting your lips to tone them down, or layering more on. The choice is yours. Glossier Play just gives you options to play with. Thanks for watching. See you next time.